You're watching UNICEF Television. If you don't pass, that is the only means, because they could, he could tell us that if we have no ears, then the best we can, they can do is to cane us, cane the buttocks that they are using that as a means of opening the ears and the mind. So for me, I never knew whether it was violence, I, they were violating my own rights, or I never knew. My voice, my voice is, is important. important. My voice is important. My voice, my voice is, is important. important. My voice is important because I am the future of Uganda. These words mark the starting point for the UNICEF-funded Future Search Workshop, which in a first step brings together children of all ages and from all corners of the country to work towards zero violence in schools. We have come to discuss how we can make a successful future for the children in Uganda. Thank you. The workshop brought out difficult examples of violence in schools, both past and present, following a format that encourages to tell their stories in search of a common ground. In our school, uh, when you do a, a, just a small mistake, a teacher gets you, he gives you two stones, you hold them like this. Don't put them down, don't do like this, but hold them for around 10 minutes. They're learning that there's an, a, a commonality that they hold in terms of what they want for the future. They're learning that they can talk together in meaningful ways. And they're learning to listen to one another. Having built this foundation, the children voice concrete action plans of their desired future, plans which will be carried to district stakeholders to be integrated and closely followed up by UNICEF. When I go back to our district, I'll make sure that I'll share with my colleagues the idea I have learned from here. And I go to the radio station so that everyone will hear. By the time I go back, I will call, I inform my headmaster to call parents and inform them about what I have learned here. This workshop is the starting point to make schools child friendly, the beginning of a new future which will affect millions of children in Uganda. It requires shared efforts by all levels of Uganda society, and it starts now. This is Karen Bridger reporting for UNICEF Television. For more information, go to unicef.org. Unite for children.